Hello and welcome back for more tips and tricks for Project Ozone 3. Today we're going to be focusing on the basic early production, which will lead right up to ender lilies, which you plant on end stone, and it'll produce basically an ender pearl farm, which uh, you need a lot of ender pearls, and I like going this route. The um, a mob farm will get you there too, but it's it's expensive to make a good mob, mob farm, so uh, we're going to do it this way, and uh, it's really amazing. Let's get into it. So we're going to walk right in here. And we're going to start off with the cardboard. We showed you that in the last episode. Shift right click to pop that off. And we'll just put that right up here. Beautiful. So the first thing we're going to be shooting for is water. So how do we make that? You can, um, you're going to have a wooden crucible. Okay. You can know it. You can look up the recipe on that. It's easy to do right here. Crucible. Recipe. You can just make that. Easy to do. Wood sticks. You've got all that. So we're going to make, um, you're going to have some glass to start out the glass bottles. And what you want to do is, you want to take uh, some, you could do the shears on your leaves and get a bunch of leaves that way. Or you could take some of your precious saplings early on. And you're just going to drop some in here into this wooden crucible. And you can see it can hold up to four buckets worth of water. And it just melts it down. Perfect. So we're going to take our four buckets of, uh, uh, four, uh we're going to have four glass bottles. And you can do that by making more glass just like this. Just making your glass and then arranging it just like that. And it makes glass bottles. But you're going to get a clay bucket soon. So that's what we're shooting for. So let's take this. One, two, three, four. And then you just put each of these bottles in here. Perfect. Now we have a bit of we have a bit of dust because we've been breaking the uh the dust down uh, from our gravel, been hammering the cobblestone, hammering the, the gravel into sand, into dust. So we want some clay. So we've got our bucket, our, our regular wooden barrel, not a crucible. We're going to put one in here just like this, and it's going to instantly turn to clay. Perfect. We'll put this up here for a second just to give us some extra room in our inventory. There we go. So now we have some clay, and that's right up here. Dust into clay. Clay into clay balls. Well, how do we make the clay balls? That's easy to do. You're going to mix just enough of it. And it turns it into four. Perfect. So now we come down here. And we want to make two things to begin with. First, we're going to make these unfired buckets, these unfired clay buckets, just like that. So we're going to make that. We'll just make one for now. And we're going to pop that in a furnace. It'll cook up. And I'll show you how to do this little automation thing. It's really nice to do that early on so you don't have to sit there and tend to your uh, furnaces. And sure enough, we get a bucket. Now we don't have to use, we don't have to use these. Otherwise it's one, two, three, four, and then you go back. It's not, not fun. So there we go. Now we have a bucket. So we'll just pull this out, pull a bucket of water, put it in there. Much faster. I love it. So we're in good shape. We've got our bucket. Now let's, let's shoot for our next thing. We want to make some uh, porcelain. So how do we do that? Clay and bone meal. Bone meal is kind of precious, so let's uh, let's do that. Clay. One, two, three. We'll do we'll do sixteen. How about that? Is there chicken or something over there? <laughs> so we've got sixteen porcelain. You're going to need more for your porcelain um, smeltery, and anyway, so we arrange it like that. And now we have an unfired crucible. Beautiful. We can pop these things back in here now. All right. So unfired crucible, fire it up. Don't uh, don't forget this step. We'll also get rid of our, bo our bottles. Okay. So it's fired away. There it is. We'll take it right out of there. So now we've got our unfired, now we have a fired crucible. This is really important. You come over here, 
and you dig down one little and you put a torch underneath it so it's like this and then you put a torch underneath it just like that looks good so we have that going but what does that do well we come over here and you have cobblestone you what we want to do is you want to make a bunch of these because you're going to be filling them up or cobblestone makes one bucket of lava and these take a long time to melt down look at this it's melting 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 so you're going to be melting all these down we don't want this one here just like that so you've got now you've got lava production pretty fast lava production already beautiful so that's how you make those into the clay bucket crucible fired beautiful thing because you're going to want to make a bucket of lava with a bucket of water. And I'll explain why in a second here. Let's get rid of this stuff just to clean us. Clean the inventory up a little bit. There we go. Much better. So, if you want to automate this, and we can, let's automate this little setup here. And we'll get the chests. So you don't have to sit there and put each one in or automate this. What you do is you put a chest right below here. Same as this one. And then you're going to point a hopper right at the chest and push shift, hold down shift, and right click the hopper into the chest. Now it'll pull any items out, but it won't pull the water out. And the same thing over here. It's pulling it out. And let's say you had a bunch of cobblestone that you wanted to melt down. So you could just put a bunch up here stacks of it it'll drop it down automatically cook it up and it turns it into nice stone and then you can turn it into these bricks so let's do that then we're going to put one on top and we'll put a chest up oh, not that we'll put a chest right up here and now we can do something like this We've got a bunch of dust we'll put the dust up there it drops down now I can do this. And I can just sit there as long as I have enough water, go right back and forth and get that beautiful thing. And let's take care of that. So now we've automated that step. Let's take one more um, bucket and we're going to get a bucket of water. We'll just let that melt down. There we go. So now we've got the lava cooking away. We have water. What we're going to be shooting for is a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. Oops, <laughs> a bucket of lava. A bucket of don't don't uh, dump your lava on the wooden floor. It'll be terrible. It'll start a horrible fire. Let's see. Do we have enough? Yep. So now we have a bucket of water and a bucket of lava because we're going to shoot for this thing right here cobblestone generator let's find out how to do this so easy stuff you can follow along rewind and it'll get you to this point very quickly let's how how do we make this right here one clay bucket of lava one of that some just some cobblestone and a piece of glass gets you this beautiful thing now this will enable you put this down put a chest right on top of it Look at this. Now you don't have to punch the ground anymore. So we're already way ahead of the game. Beautiful thing. And we're going to move that over there. That there. We'll just put these away. Just like that. So now we have cobblestone. And what you could do is put some cobblestone in the generator. Right up on top of one of these. Maybe even with a chest up there and really start filling this in and now this thing will be generating and there's one there's still the one problem how do you um how do you get it out of there so for right now you'll still be using it you'll just have four buckets and it kind of have it stored there then once you get into a way to move hot liquids out of stuff maybe with a the thermal uh the thermal um maybe with these uh Right here, these hardened fluid fluid ducts—they can pull—they can pull lava out of there. 
There might be some other things as well. But we're in good shape. You'd have a long line of these. And one of the things you might want to start off with is, because this is a 1x, that's going to 1x it. But if you put a, bu a bucket of lava down there, just right here, and let's uh, and see how it uses up your clay bucket. That's not, you know, it's not ideal, but that's what it is. And then you just block that off, and now it's safe. But then make sure you're not building with wood, because you don't want to start your whole base on fire. So now we've got to this point, we've got a bunch of lava cooking, and I would make, I don't know, just like that. <laughs> what happened there? That's scary. Shouldn't have done that. Um, so I would make about eight of these because you're going to need a bunch of lava. And this is the next step. This is a beautiful thing, too. Let's take some of these. And let's go get more of our buckets that we've already made. And we've automated this, which is nice. So if I can do it, if I haven't had this automated yet, I could just go like this. We've got a stone barrel. Now the stone barrel is kind of neat as well. Don't confuse it with the other stuff. Not bar barrel. There we go. Right here, this one. The recipes for this are kind of neat. If you put uh, uh, lava in here with a water block above it, you can get obsidian really quickly. You can uh, you put some mycelium, you can make that, and get witch water, which gets you some really amazing stuff. And you can do all this as well. You can get nether rack this way. So the same way as I'm getting endstone, you can get nether rack by putting the redstone in here. We're going to do the uh, endstone. That's what we're shooting for. So let's do this. Here it is. I'm ready to go. It's pointing in there. I've got my buckets. This stuff is cooking away very slowly. See how slow that is? Ooh, let's, let's put some more in there. We'll put that much more in there. And see the rate? Much quicker than this one. 1x, 3x, and there's better, better things than that. You can use blaze meshes, and that'll be 20x or 30x a lot better. So... Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Just like that. Boom. And now we have endstone, which is beautiful. You could actually do quite a few things with this, but we're going to use it to plant it. You can crush it down. If you crush it down and put it through a sieve, you can get this. I would try, I would shoot for a diamond sieve, but if you don't, if you have a flint or an iron, probably an iron sieve, you have a chance at these ender lilies. And see how the 13% chance, 9% chance, 4% chance. And you also get prosperity shards this way. And this. So we're going to get these ender lilies. So it's going to take about, on average, 8 of these uh, of these to do it. Put that in there. We'll just throw this stuff away. Not throw it away, but you know what I mean. Just to clean the things up here. And is our is this cooking away? Yes, it is. Put some more in there, and that's why you want to automate this. So then I have a bucket. <laughs> pop that in. Pop this in. And I've got another piece. You can just put these up here. Grab a bucket. And you want to get to an iron bucket as soon as possible. Now, and it's automated. Bump, bump. You can just do it just like that. You get a bunch of ender um, end stone, which you crush down. So then we come over to here, and we want ender lilies. Now, these don't have to be next to water, and you can plant them in the light as well. They grow away. So ender lilies. Just like that, we know how to get them by sieving the crushed end stone. And then it, these will grow, and as you pick these, there's a chance that these drop, a fairly good chance. I don't know, maybe like 15, 20%, 13%, 1 in 8, 1 in 10. And then you can more, you're going to plant more and more, and as you grow out, you're going to expand and expand and expand. And plant as many of these as you want. Now, the thing is, they grow really slowly. And if you get when they're growing like this, if you stand on it, it'll, it'll prick you, so that's not good. 
So how can we make that grow faster? Let's take a look in here. Tested this and it does work. You're gonna need three of these, one, two, three, and you get a lily pad of fertility. Well, how do you get these things? Just like this, you're gonna get the lily pads from your nature essence. The nature essence you're gonna get from a nature seed. This is gonna this is just to really to speed things up. These will still grow, but if you want to speed them up and you will, you're gonna to wanna to take a little bit of time and make this. You're gonna get a crafting seed, four of these inferium essences, and you're gonna make four of these, which is easy to do. You'll be able to farm, you know, you can farm this stuff up and make a little farm for it. So now you've got one of these. Well, then you're going to have your mob farm. This is the point where you're already going to have a mob farm, most likely. What's the recipe for that? Uh, some cactus green that's cooked down, a rib bone, one of those and one of those. Perfect. So let's pop that in. And just like that, we have a, a lily pad of fertility. Put it down like that. And now you can walk over the water as well. And the neat thing is this will make this grow, I don't know, maybe like twice as fast, it seems. There's maybe some documentation somewhere. But that's all to get these <laughs> these things. It's all to get these. All of that work just to get these things. But as you can see, there's 57 different um, crafting recipes. You're going to need them for tons of things. Tons and tons of things. So you're going to need hundreds and thousands. I've got a, 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 I think it's maybe like an almost like a 64 square area of these planted with a plant gatherer and it automatically harvests everything. It's a beautiful thing. Um, just the alloys. There's a bunch of alloy recipes um, to make to make these resonant servos, you're going to have to do enderium, etc. So you're really going to need a lot of these. That's why I've got this going, and we're in good shape. Put that back. Pretty, pretty neat room. If you want to make lava like this, or obsidian, kind of a neat thing to do. We'll grab a bucket, and all you do is you enclose a block of water right above one of these stone barrels. Let's see if we've got some lava cooked. And you pop that in there and watch this. And ideally, you're going to want to have a, a iron bucket by now. Pop that out, and now we've got obsidian. Now we can get to the end and do all kinds of fun stuff down there. Great stuff. And all that work is to get to these. And if you don't know about ender chests, you could look it up and get a, a really in-depth... Um, a tutorial on these, but the basics are this. You're going to make um, an ender chest, and it allows you to move stuff around without having to, you know, pipe everything around. You can have different access. That way you could have, like, say, a, a charcoal room that makes charcoal, and then you could just go like this. Let's see. So if I open up this one right here on the ground, it's going to be linked to my ender pouch like that. So it shows this is where everything actually stored because it's all these three buttons on the top. But let's say if I put, let's take a bunch of, <laughs> bunch of different, because I've got a, a whole big system of this stuff going on. So an ender pouch, ender t uh, chest, and an ender tank. Let's say I put just red on that one. This one looks like it's part of my, um, I've pulverized down the, um, the ores, which doubles the, the results there. So that's part of that system. Well, let's see, let's say I wanted to have my, and, and you notice how when I'm opening this, it's not connected anymore because that's red, white, white. These are all whites. But when I open up my bag, it's still connected to that one. Well, let's see if I can change my bag to open up this one. If I hold down shift and right click, you look there on the bottom. Now it's red. My bag is coated red, white, white. If I open it up, 
it opens up that one now. And to turn it back, I just shift right click on there. Perfect. Well, let's turn this back to that, <laughs> just in case. So we got those. Same thing up here. I coated my lava with three orange, and that'll be that. You could do like a water system. So, that, you know, you could if you wanted infinite water at, on demand and not have to put a sink there, you just pump a sink into one of these. You could put like maybe three blues, and that'll be water. One, two, and watch this. It'll turn into lava. That's part of my system of lava. We're in good shape. The ender pouch has been explained. The reason why you carry it around has been explained. That way I have access to the, all of this stuff. You're not running back and forth between your, your uh, building crafting area. Um, ender pearls are extremely important for the elevators just to be able to jump, to be able to jump up and down and not have to build way out and just to build another platform. Just jump up and now I've built up here. See how I'm building up and up and up because I've, I've built a bunch of these elevators, stacks and stacks and stacks of each floor. It's just a beautiful thing. Looks good. So we've gone over quite a bit. Wooden crucible for the water. Clay, put water in there, you get your clay. Fire them off, the porcelain things. Fire them off and get the uh, item crucible. The clay buckets. You're gonna wanna go to an iron bucket as soon as possible, but those are a little bit more intense. Bucket, right here. Oh. Recipe, recipe. You're gonna need the iron plates, and to get that, you're gonna need a casting table with, um, you could do the, this kind of casting, and you're gonna mold it in a porcelain crucible type thing and make a cast to get, you could do a bucket cast, but you can also just get a plate cast like that. And then you'll, you'll have steel buckets, and you won't have to make so many buckets. Go into here, we've got our, this is amazing, a cobblestone generator already, and the, you're gonna have a line of these things going with lava underneath each, each one, and you'll be putting <laughs> a bunch of uh, hoppers on there until you get to the point where you can get maybe like um, a servo with a recipe like this, something like this, you'll, you'll get a servo, and then, I might have did that a little too quickly, the servos are connected to, from thermal dynamics, easy to make. We're gonna go like this. You're gonna get, oh, this is a little tricky, <laughs> hardened fluid ducts, lead, and invar. Now, invar is uh, crushed, just like this. Invar blend, iron, and that, and how you can make that. You can make this crushed stuff in a quartz uh, grindstone. And that way you can just get a little bit enough to start doing this and automating the fluid so you don't have to, or the uh, the movement of the items, and then the drawing out with uh, the hot fluids out of the bottom, or out of the back, because the bottom's gonna have the heat source. We've got obsidian today. This is a lot, we've gone on, on over a lot. You could do redstone in here and get the, and then glowstone and get end, ender lilies, ender pearls, all of this. So if you guys have any questions, please uh, please ask below. But I think this is a really, really good setup. Shows you how to automate the basic stuff so you don't have to tend to things. You're gonna be in really good shape. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and if you like kind of this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. That way it'll um, show you the next hints and tips. And you can watch along as I play along through these different packs and different games. Have a good one and enjoy. This is kind of neat. Neat little setup, a little tutorial setup in here. Beautiful thing. Automated. Love getting everything automated.